Hello, let's assemble the Aerotech J350. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. We have the delay insulator, the delay grain, the aft delay spacer, the nozzle, the black powder ejection charge, and the motor igniter. We have the aft o-ring, the delay o-ring, the forward o-ring, the forward sealed disc o-ring, the forward delay spacer, and the aft insulator. We want to use some super lube to lubricate our o-rings. And take just a small little dab on the finger and rub it over the o-ring. You just want enough to get it shiny. Now take more super lube and get it into the threads on both ends of your motor casing. Now I use a popsicle stick to add a chamfer to the inside edges of the delay insulator. At this point you would need to drill your delay. I need the full delay so I'm not. Now you insert your delay grain into the delay insulator. Being careful not to touch the delay material. Now I'll insert the aft delay spacer into the delay insulator. Being gentle as I insert and make sure it's seated fully. Now I take the delay o-ring and gently slide it over the top of the delay grain that's protruding from the delay insulator. Now let's grab the forward closure and insert the forward delay spacer, making sure it's fully seated without any wrinkles or gaps. Here I use a popsicle stick to make sure it's fully seated. Now we take the forward closure and our delay assembly and we insert it into the forward closure o-ring side first and make sure it is fully seated into the forward closure up against the forward delay spacer. It takes a lot of force, so be as careful as you can. Again, take care to make sure it's fully seated. Next I'm going to chamfer the inner edge of the motor liner on both sides. Uh, they recommend using a hobby knife, I'm using my pocket knife, uh, just running backwards against the blade, just gently scraping off some material, just trying to break the hard corner. Now I'm going to load all six grains of propellant into the liner. They're all the same so don't worry about trying to keep them in any sort of order. Now I'm going to take the forward o-ring and slip it over the shoulder of the forward closure. Now I'm going to lube up the entire liner, uh, giving it just enough to get it shiny so it doesn't stick inside of the casing after it's fired. Now let's slide the liner into the motor casing. Now let's take the forward seal disc and apply the forward seal disc o-ring.
And now let's just snap the forward seal disc into the motor liner at the forward end of the motor. Make sure the seal disc is fully seated. Now let's screw the forward closure into the forward end of the motor. Make sure it's good and snug. Now let's insert the aft insulator into the aft end of the motor. Make sure it's fully seated up against the propellant grains. Now let's take the aft o-ring and insert it into the motor. Make sure it is fully seated. Now let's install the nozzle. It sits just inside of the o-ring. It's a tight fit, so you'll need to apply firm pressure. I'm double checking to make sure it's fully seated and centered. Now we can screw on the aft closure. Make sure it's firmly seated. Here's the completed motor. But if you want the ejection charge, you still have to add some black powder. Here we have the one and a half grams of included black powder. Let's open the little vial and pour the contents into the little cup at the top. and I seal it with the ejection charge cap. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.